Hey guys, it's Jonah and I'm back with another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to Mandy Castile versus Thunderstorm Artis. Looks like Mandy will be singing Stand By Me by Benny King and Thunderstorm's going to be singing Preach by his own coach, John Legend. So these are both four chair turns and I'm expecting a lot from each one of them. And I don't think, I think this is going to be closer than what most people think. I think Mandy actually could take this one if she performs well because... I think Mandy's a little underrated in this competition. She has a really great range. She's bilingual. So, yeah, this will be a great knockout. Sorry for the late updates, up uploads, guys. I was at work from about 3.30 to 10 p.m. tonight. And so I just now got home, and I'm just now starting to react to these videos. So, um, sorry about the late uploads. But, yeah, here we go. With Stand By Me, here is Mandy Castillo. Like Mandy will be first. Stand By Me. Let's go. Ooh, wow, right away. Tone, 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 man. On point. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Don't know if happy for that's good. I like that about him. Yeah, Kelly. <laughs> Ooh. That was nice. I like that last chord. That was good. Nice. Woo! control, man. Good switch there. Man, that last nut was good. Okay, guys, Mandy. She has, I really like her voice. She's like kind of like, like John said at the beginning. Like I, I, I watch all the um, kind of like preview stuff where they're, pra where like they're practicing with, um, with John and the Mega Mentor, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I saw that John kind of referred to her voice as like, I think it was like a honey sweetness. And I kind of can see that. It's very nice. She, it's very poppy in a way, but like you can tell that she has a really large range and she's very, she knows what she's doing te like technical wise because like she ha she can switch from falsetto back down to chest or the other way around. She has a really really nice tone like right away at the beginning. I was it was just like wow just taken back like from the very first couple notes she sung. And she made it. She put a nice spin on the song. It was. It felt more poppy than it, than the song usually does, and I kind of liked it. Man, it was nice. She she has a really nice way of every time she performs. She has really good stage presence, and she, and she like connects you to the song, and just makes you dig into the performance and want to watch it. And she, it it makes her have a really lovable personality, and yeah, that was just really amazing. Now. Thunderstorm. I can't wait to hear him. He's one of my favorites. And he, it takes a lot of guts to sing or, or your own coach's song, like with Megan and Kelly. So let's go right into it. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go, Thunderstorm. Now singing here is Let's go. Artiste. I'm excited. Come on. Wow. 
Here's the easy beat Turn it off my phone Cause it's held in my chest Yeah Yeah And heaven knows I'm not healthy Woo Yeah Oh my gosh What can I do Can't see the use in me cry not even trying to make the change I want to see And I can't see it in old God Can't you see it in great Oh my gosh, man Tone, tone, tone Oh, I see Woo. pain Falling on my knees For I do believe I can't just preach, baby Yeah, I like that the upper little raft kind of area. That's good. Woo! Mmm, like that. Nice. Woo! Wow. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. yeah. I can't just preach, baby. Preach. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, thunderstorm. I am amazed by his voice and his tone and his ability to make moves with his voice like that. He has a really nice kind of, I'm not sure what he's doing exactly with it, but like, it's like kind of like in his upper range. You hear a little slight rasp and growl in it, a little kind of like a roughness texture to it, almost a little bit. And I like that. It's very unique. And he's, he's special. He is a special artist, singer, person. I mean, what, do you see the way he was just smiling when he was watching Mandy? I mean, he obviously feels for her and and so it's supporting her and in if he if he ends up losing this knockout he she, like he would be happy for her he wouldn't be upset in any way for her wise but man i think thunderstorm she's just so good it's ridiculous like i think he's a front runner to win the show and i can't see a way that he loses this battle and if he does he for sure got stolen and it's just amazing. The only thing that makes me think he didn't win was actually kind of like in the, in the pre-showing part before the knockout. When they were describing their past performances. They actually showed Nick saying, I, I really hope I get I, something like in the blinds, like telling to him, I, I really I hope I get, I get a chance to work with you. And what what's intriguing about that is that in the um, battle rounds before John Mullins and Todd Tilgman's battle, when they were showing like the preview stuff, they showed Nick saying that if John's available, he's going to steal him, and Nick ended up stealing him. So that kind of makes me think that Nick ended up stealing Thunderstorm. But I'll, I mean, I understand if John picked picked Mandy. There's something about her voice too that's just really unique and special. But like from like going farther onto the show, I think I would pick Thunderstorm here. But yeah, that was an amazing, amazing knockout. And yeah, they're, they 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 I, th I think they're both gonna be on the show. Even if Thunderstorm wins, Mandy will be stolen. If it's the other way around, Thunderstorm will be stolen. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys liked it, please subscribe down below. And thank you guys.